Yo, hello everyone. Today we will be playing a new deck that has appeared after the balance changes and that's the deck. A golem healer deck, <laughs> because the healer just got buffed, as well as the skeleton dragons. So this deck is going pretty strong. Uh, you have pump as well, lumberjack, e-drag, which are classics. They were also uh, in almost all the other golem decks that were around in the past metas. So yeah, not much else to add, let's just jump into the first game and play some games with it. Alright, so here we are in the first game against you. Not gonna make any jokes, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, let's go with Electro Dragon in the same lane. Hopefully he doesn't have any big spells like Lightning, which have been running around with Sparkies lately to be honest. Uh, like the giant uh, Goblin Giant Lightning deck has been going around, but yeah. Um, he will go with wizard, so should be fine. Let's just barbarol to maybe distract the wizard. We don't manage to distract it, really unfortunate, but we can still defend quite easily with lumberjack. Maybe one hit from the golden knight, but yeah, we are pretty good. At least we know what the opponent is running, so he goes with electro wizard. I'm not going to uh, pump because I'm expecting a tank in front of that Electro Wizard. Right, he did not do it because I played the healer. If I played the pump, he would go... He would he would have gone in for sure. <laughs> uh, let's pump right now. Um, let's see what he does. He isn't doing anything, so I'm not really sure if he just decided to quit or if he's waiting for me to make a push and know where to play Sparky, but <laughs> I mean, first of all, it would be kind of stupid. And second of all, I'm pretty sure he just quit for some reason. Not really sure why. Uh, maybe he just doesn't like playing against Golem, which is understandable, but yeah, uh, I will just three crown him. So yeah, we just three crowned him right away. He decided to quit for some reason and yeah, <laughs> not much happened in this game. So let's jump into the second one right away. All right, here we are in the second game against Sebas. Um, he's playing Tombstone, so this may be a graveyard deck or lava deck, depends. Could be both. Um, still, uh, yeah, now we are pretty sure that he's playing um, graveyard. I haven't seen a um, lava deck with Ice Wizard, to be honest. But yeah, we can just pump here. Uh, he wasted his poison, so we should be pretty good. Uh, I will just barbarol on these skeletons and the ice wizard. And this is a really clean defense. And we are up elixir and he still needs to defend the electro dragon. So we are looking great right now. That's the lead you want to have against a graveyard deck. Uh, there is no other way to win it. Like even right now, it's not certain that we can win because it's still so annoying playing against Graveyard with Golem. Like Graveyard, Splash Yard exists because of Golem decks. <laughs> like that's their main, that's their main objective, like countering Golems. So, you know, <laughs> this will be still a tough matchup, but maybe we can make something happen because yeah, we got a nice advantage right from the start. Let's go with Golem maybe. Um, if he uses the ability, I will Skeleton Dragons or maybe just Barbarol, because I didn't have enough elixir to play uh, Skeleton Dragons. Let's go with Healer, Skeleton Dragons, just to kill the Tombstone faster. He shouldn't have poison yet, I'm pretty sure. Healer will start to put in some work there, and poison won't be as much, like, as effective, because we have the Healer, which, like, will outheal the poison, probably. So, maybe? This deck is like the counter to all the graveyard decks that are going around and actually counter golem decks pretty nicely. Yeah, <laughs> we three crowned him, so great stuff. Uh, he just didn't play the best at the beginning. He went in there and uh, wasted all of his elixir and we were able to get a nice elixir advantage. And yeah, from there, it's just a lost game for him. Anyways, let's jump into the third and last one. All right, here we are against Killer Matt. Um, he's playing Miner. 
All right, I waited for a second there. I wanted to play the Barbarian Barrel in the safe spot, but he actually didn't play the Miner in the safe spot. So yeah, works out pretty well for us. All right, let's defend this with Lumberjack. Um, yeah, the uh, Rage will just kill the bats. So this is great. Um, Let's see what he does. He will... Inferno Dragon. Um, I don't want to go with Pump because he has Miner. Like, I need to keep this in mind because I'm not used to playing Lumberloon Freeze. Maybe he doesn't have Freeze, but yeah, Lumberloon with Miner. So yeah, normally I would play Pump, but in this situation, I think uh, I need to wait before playing it. He needs to waste his miner or make the Lumberloon push so I can actually focus on defending the miner. Uh, here he just played poison, so definitely an interesting Lumberloon deck. Also with arrows, <laughs> so definitely. All right, I don't really understand why he went with the miner on that pump. Like the pump got two ticks of damage from the poison and he also arrowed it so don't really understand his intentions behind this but i'm not going to complain let's just say um let's go with healer um yeah the, the electro dragon won't hit the infernal dragon in time but we have the healer putting in some nice work so Let's see if we can make anything happen. Unfortunately, we don't catch the Inferno Dragon in the Nado. If we did, this would have been really great. But yeah, we don't. <laughs> so that's it. Unfortunately, oh, that retarget was great. Hopefully, we can get another. Uh, too late. Not looking great right now. Uh, I mean, Probably he will not be able to break through right away, but still not so great of a situation to be in. Uh, let's Nado. Um, he will probably arrow. Pretty sure he will. He doesn't? Alright. <laughs> he poisons. That's interesting. Um, I will go with healer from the back just because I don't want to commit 8 elixir. That's the reason right here. Now I need to protect the tower because I don't think that the healer would have arrived in time. Let's go with Barbarian Barrel to predict his Inferno Dragon. Um, the Electro Dragon, yeah, didn't stop all the enemy troops from killing the healer so that's unfortunate but still we have a nice electro dragon stopping everything there uh, we need to nado asap all right we managed to do it in time um oh the rage killed everything which is great let's go with electro dragon to kill the Inferno Dragon and now we have a nice push and he doesn't have um, his Inferno Dragon in hand so I'm not sure if he will be able to defend this. Uh, let's Nado. Yep, I'm pretty sure this is GG. Let's just go with Healer as well but yeah, no way for him to defend this. Great stuff. We did not play our best but still we managed to win. Probably this was a matchup in our favor, I guess. and. Yeah, um, not much else to say. This deck really works out really great. Not sure if this will be like the best golem in the meta, but definitely worth a try. The healer now with the healing ability, which we actually didn't even use, I'm pretty sure, uh, may uh, give you some nice opportunities uh, to save your troops on defense. And actually, like uh, specifically in this deck, you will try to save your skeleton dragons from a poison maybe, or uh, your electro dragon, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, overall the deck synergizes really well and give it a try if you want. If you want to suggest me a deck I should play in the next video, you can do it. I will, I will be more than happy to play your deck if you suggest anything. And other than that, 
not anything else to say. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!